Welcome back, this is John Locke. Today, I wanna to talk about this thread that I saw on Twitter today. This was talking about the cringiest things that people talk about when they talk about SEO, search engine optimization. So I can't find the exact post because <laughs> it was from this morning and now I can't find it. But uh, one of the things that somebody brought up is when people talk about writing for search engines or do you write for people? Do you write, you know, uh, content for Google or do you write it for people look this is a it's it's like a false question in 2020 and 2021 they're the same thing there's no keyword stuffing that's gonna work I mean yes you got to put some of the keywords in there and the synonyms you know words that are associated with the phrases but a lot of that's gonna come as a result of you writing to address the question when it comes to, you know, solving what people want to find. So that was one of the things. Another related thing that somebody was talking about was a post that I guess famed marketer Seth Godin was talking about. I guess he wrote some post that basically said <laughs> SEO was a pyramid scheme or, um, some sort of thing where it was like trickery or manipulation and you know it's there for people to rank generic terms and but you know here's the thing As, uh, Seth love you guy used to read you a lot back on the the light rail back in the day when I was learning web design look Seth love you guy used to read you a lot back in the day back when I was f first learning web design 10 years ago but uh, your information's a little bit out of date. SEO is really not about trickery uh, all that much anymore. It's really hard uh, to keyword stuff, unless you're talking about Google Maps, and that's a totally different situation. If you're talking about Google Maps and keyword stuffing is alive and well. But if you're just talking about the regular organic results, you know, keyword stuffing the page, doing things like this, it just, it doesn't work. Um, like it did 15 or 20 years ago. Writing content today, if the, the big thing that you gotta keep in mind is you are trying to solve somebody's problem. If somebody's typing something in, they want to either read some information that solves their problem or answers their question, or they're trying to accomplish a task, like buy something, make an appointment, you know, find some information, whatever it is. So they're either trying to find info or, you know, complete some sort of task. But what's on the page has to accomplish that. So there's no writing for search engines and writing for people as two different things. You know, people need to abandon this idea. Now, all that said, when we're talking about cringy things, you know, in SEO, all that said, do you need to write specific things when you're talking about specific keywords? Yes, and as we talked about in yesterday's video, and we've talked about in probably dozens of videos in the past, when you're trying to um, give people a solution to a problem, and we're talking more like an informational article here, like a, you know, not like an e-commerce page or an online booking form or something like that, but we're talking like an article or a resource or uh, something like that. You have to put information in there that people are looking for. So it really does kind of pay to um, understand what problem it is that people are trying to solve or what they're trying to find out about um, certain things when they're typing certain queries in. Now, when it comes to typing in something like auto mechanic near me or dentist or you know, orthodontist or, um, you know, oil change, then people are trying to find something near them. Yes, when they type those things in, they're trying to find something near them and that's a task that they're trying to complete. So that's why you usually see something like the three pack of Google Maps at the top of the page when you look at the search results page. And then what you'll notice usually at the top is something like Yelp or whatever similar thing there is for that particular industry. But you'll see like these, these types of uh, what they call like internet yellow pages. Um, but it's because people are trying to find a location that can provide them that service that's nearby them.
that's going to be convenient for them. So this whole thing of, you know, talking about engines, search engines versus people, it's a misnomer. Uh, forget about it. Just remember that people are coming to a search engine to try and find information and to try and solve a problem and complete some sort of task or, you know, find a solution to something. And if you keep that in mind, then you're going to do very well in SEO. My name is John Locke. My business is Locke Down Design and SEO. And I'm here three days a week offering advice, tips, all kinds of things, almost at a thousand subscribers right now. So I urge you, go ahead and subscribe. You won't regret it. That's all I have for now. Until next time, peace.